What's going on guys? We're in the trailer and we're doing a video on where and how to tie your horse. We have a couple things here. Here we have Wit, a Rocky Mountain training horse that, that's in with us, and where to tie. First off, whenever I'm tying anything, I always want to tie at least as high as the withers. So I like for, I have two options here. I would like to go up high up here because it's higher than his withers, okay? I like to tie just with the, the lead rope if it's an option. And what I want to do is I want to come up around here and I'm going to make it easy out. So I put the rabbit ear through there and I'm going to grab the slack one, go under his line two, over his line three. And now wherever he goes, he's going to be handing me the quick release to pull him out. So as opposed to it getting caught up in the little ring up here or, or getting in a bind, since it's macro shape over and under his line, wherever he goes, it's going to pull on him. And if there's an issue, I could just pull it and it's gonna come right out. Now, I know some of you are saying, hey, what if the ring's real high and it's not easy to get to? Well, if you have a spare rope, get your little step stool when your horse is not in there, and you can get way up as high as you need to, as high as you need to, and you just tie a knot through your ring, a real simple knot like that, the knot will go up in the ring. You don't have to have all this excess. I'm just trying to get it up high for the video. So now you have a piece of rope that you can reach easily from leading your horse in here. And whenever you have a loop of rope like this, it is the simplest knot because we're gonna tie to this rope just like you would tie the halter knot. So the same way, we're gonna go through the rope, around it, and make a slip knot right under itself, just like that. That way, look how we've lowered this to us for my friends that are vertically challenged. It'll be easy to get to, and sometimes these trailer companies put rings just in places that doesn't even make sense to get to whenever you load your horse. So you can tie an extra rope to that one more time. I prefer the, a lead rope tied to that ring up there than the pre-made, China-made little clips and rings and snaps, because I've seen all those things break this lead rope's not gonna break. That ring that's hooked to your trailer will break before this rope breaks. And anytime I'm tying a horse, I wanna tie them where they're not coming undone. Um, that people ask me, well, my horse doesn't know how to tie. Well, then don't tie it in the trailer. If it doesn't tie outside on a fence or a wall, shoo it in there like a cattle and just leave it untied and hope for the best. Again, since that's like this, you'll always be able to get that out. Boom, just like so. Those are the two ways that I like to, to tie a horse in the trailer. This is a really good trick if your ring's really high or if you're vertically challenged. And that, that easy out one more time, I'll show it to you right here. We're just going to go rabbit ears, and this could be around a ring or anything. We're going to pull rabbit ears through it, one, go under the line, two, over the line, three. Just like that, easy way to get the horse undone. Boom, your horse is out of there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one.